Common stock is a plain vanilla equity security whose rights are defined by Delaware statute. Preferred stock is an equity security whose rights, privileges, and preferences are negotiated by the company and the purchaser of the preferred stock. No two preferred stocks are identical, and the Series A preferred stock issued by two different startups might have wildly different rights, privileges, and preferences. But all preferred stocks have some seniority or priority over common stock in regards to rights to acquisition proceeds, voting rights, rights to dividends, redemption rights, or otherwise. These senior rights, privileges, and preferences make preferred stock more valuable than common stock, which allows startups to charge a higher price per share for preferred stock than common stock, allowing the startup to raise capital by giving up less ownership, i.e. fewer shares, by issuing preferred stock than common stock. The price disparity between preferred stock and common stock also allows startups to sell high-priced preferred stock to investors, while at the same time sell low-priced common stock to employees as attractive equity incentives. Liquidation preference should be called acquisition proceeds preference because it determines the priority order in which stockholders enjoy acquisition proceeds. As a general matter, preferred stockholders insist upon being repaid their full investment amount from the acquisition proceeds off the top before common stockholders receive any acquisition proceeds. If the acquisition proceeds are not sufficient to return all invested capital, the preferred stockholders receive only a portion of their money back and common stockholders receive nothing regardless of their percentage of ownership in the company. Preferred stockholders typically enjoy a liquidation preference or the right to receive their invested capital back from acquisition proceeds before common stockholders share in any acquisition proceeds. Conversion rights or the right to convert to common stock if their share of acquisition proceeds as a common stockholder is greater than their liquidation preference. Anti-dilution protection or the right to automatic conversion rate adjustments if the company raises capital at a lower price per share in the future. Special voting rights or the right to block certain fundamental corporate actions regardless of percentage of ownership. Registration rights, which relate to the right to have their shares registered with the SEC to be sold freely on a stock exchange after the company has gone public. Preemptive rights or the right to invest their pro rata share in all future financings to maintain their percentage of ownership. Rights of first refusal and co-sale rights, or the right to purchase a departing founder's stock, or the right to piggyback on top of a founder's sale of stock to a third party. And board of director rights, or the right to designate one or more members of the company's board of directors. There are many variants of these rights and almost an infinite number of combinations of these variants.